was born in Bermeja. Bermeja is a very small village, center uh, of the province of Matanzas in Cuba. My dad had a painting that he bought from some artist. I, I love it so much that I knew that I wanted to do that. Then I got lucky enough that son of the friend from school, uh, his dad was an artist and he went to school to give some classes for his sons and his son friends for their school of art. I got there in that class and it was a lot of coincidence that happened for me to be able to enter art school. Being an artist in Cuba, uh, once you start like thinking um, ideas and making a purpose of your work, then you get in trouble with the system because in Cuba everything is political. So my artwork was really political. It got really bad to the point that a lot of my shows were censored and just closed the first day, not even letting it open. For a long time, I just had my studio by myself. And then I met Julie, she's an artist too, so we got a bigger studio, we shared a studio. And it's been a wonderful experience. We are ourselves, but we share our ideas and we have lunch together and we have a great time together. And my kids come and they just run around and it's full of toys and trains and the studio is large enough, so Julie has her space, I have my space, the assistants are here. It's just a joyful experience. Being in Bermeja, in that small farmer's town, I learned how to use the moon for planting the seeds and harvesting, and, and that's what everybody does there, it's just normal. And I found that a deeper connection to nature of the universe was to use the same cycles of the moon that the farmers used there in Bermeja. And that's how I started painting on a waning moon, like I plant an idea instead of planting a seed. Then I finish it on another waning moon, like a harvesting of our own crop. I never work full time in one painting. I work a little bit and a little bit, and then it's time to dry it, and I put it to the side, and I work in another one. But I always have about 10 paintings in progress. I use the basket weaving in my paintings as a way to show the interconnectedness of everything uh, constant in my work is to make things made of other things. When I came to America, I had all the issues that I needed to express concern about, which it wasn't anything political, it was mostly that connection of humans to nature. So that idea led me to the basket weaving and feathers and leaf, but I stick to the basket weaving because it helps me to represent more what I wanted to say. I did this body of work using policemen, firemen, and the U.S. Marine as the established forces of security. And I make them meditating or giving total peaceful environment around them as attracting peaceful action. This is from a spirit of security. It's a meditating cop. Um, this painting was made in 2012 to 2013. And just before all the craziness went, uh, happened with the policemen and all of that, it's about giving security through spirituality and through your own mind, how you create security. Brainwash series, I wanted to show how we get so much influence by the media or, or by stereo sources than by our own thinking and our own guidance. So it shows military people shoving ideas through your head with cameras or in the case of the media or microphones. I think it's a very important work in today's time when everybody wants to make you think like they think. And it takes away the individuality of the human being. It's called Enlightenment from Brainwash series, which is about the forcing of belief in you. So it's like the light as, as the knowledge is the forcing of the knowledge of somebody else's you. The size of the painting is not up to me, it's up to the idea. So some paintings have to have 18 feet. Some paintings just need to be two feet. I just follow the idea. And usually I like large painting, it kind of impacts you more. 
even if it's an idea, sometimes it should be three feet, I make it four feet, so I get a little more of that. Power is about six feet or seven feet high by 18 feet. It's part of three paintings, plenty, power, and the next one would be songs. The thinker is like an established symbol of thinking. And I use it in all different colors as a way to show different types of thoughts. Thoughts are the most powerful tool that we have. It's about showing the power of thought and the diversity of thought. That's why I use the horn of plenty to spread different types of thoughts. Of course, I do a lot of paintings. I get into the point that I can explore something else, like doing bronze sculptures, stainless steel sculptures, embroideries, postery works. It's just following the idea I want to be made of. And I got to the point that I can follow it and respect the idea more than anything. These machines, they are called Mima. <laughs> My mom used to sew and do embroideries, so the machines are called Mima 1 and Mima 2. As you can see, I paint with thread. If I paint it, I paint it faster than the machine can do it. It's a very laborious process of work to get embroidery done. It's like my paintings with the real thread. And after a big search, I found these machines in Germany. So I was able to acquire two of them. And now I'm just making art. This is what it looks like in the back. It's kind of as beautiful as in the front, or even more. <laughs> I did this series of embroideries called spirituality and economics. And it's a fusion of what I have learned through my life experience of being in Cuba and being in the US from socialism to capitalism. Thomas Sowell and Milton Freeman, to me, they are a fusion of how to apply the spirituality to society and to the individual. And the free market, in that case, it's a representation of that, of your opportunity to be yourself and grow yourself because when you grow yourself is the only way that you can help others. It's very hard to get to a new idea. We, we do amendments to existing ideas using things that are established and you combine them to create something new. And that's how we all evolve, just getting what somebody did and that's how we sit in the shoulders of the one that were before us. Enjoy what you do, because that's how ideas come to you. When you enjoy, they just multiply. It's a true joy to go through life doing what you love. I think nothing is better than that. And wake up in the middle of the night and write it down, because you will forget in the morning. My name is Alexi Torres. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I love life. I love my family. I love to create. I love to think and I am a servant to ideas, that's who I am.